Okay, this is the buried wrap and turn. I knit up to, uh, I'm going to do my buried wrap and turn here. I'm going to slip this one. I like knitting with my leading leg in back. If you like knitting with your leading leg in front, just slip it accordingly. I like leading leg in back. For this uh, wrap and turn, you really need the stitch to be leading leg in back. You're going to poke the needle into the stitch below. See that? And I wrap counterclockwise for this. And then I'm going to put this loop over that stitch. My focal length is off, so bear with me. And then I'm going to, usually I can just give it a little bit of a tug and it will drop down below the purl loop. Then I switch and go the other way. Now this is the stitch I slipped. So I didn't slip it the right way. There we go, leading leg and back. And I'm going to pick up the bar. Do you see the bar right there? That This is the bar that goes across from... If I could see what I'm doing, I would pick up the bar. There's the bar that goes to that stitch over there. I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to knit that at the same time as I knit the stitch that was slipped. That fastens that bar in place. And then I knit across. I'm going to do it again because it's going to take a couple of times to... Yeah, and I don't turn my work. I just There's kind of no point in turning my work. I can figure out things better if I don't turn my work when I'm doing wild and interesting things, so I don't turn it. And of course, if I wanted to do it this way, I'll do one this way and you'll see what I mean. So here I am. I'm going to turn in this stitch right here. So I'm going to slip this one so that when I come back to it, the leading leg is in back. I'm going to put my needle through the stitch below, wrap clockwise. I'm going to put it over the top of that stitch, pull it down through, and I'm going to knit this stitch with the bar. See that bar right there? I'm going to knit those two together and that hides that float. The float vanishes and it stabilizes the stitching. When you knit across this, when you're done and you knit across this, they vanish. They absolutely disappear. You really have to hunt for where the, let's see, where did I do my last one? My last one was there. I'm going to slip this one. I'm going to knit into the bottom of that, uh, into the stitch below on that one. Put the slip stitch, or put the new stitch over. Pull it down so it's inside that, you see it's inside that purl loop. Then I'm going to pick up the bar and knit it with this stitch and it's done. So I'm going to knit across, all the way across so you can see what it looks like. This is kind of funky yarn. It's 50-50 cotton acrylic and it's kind of got a fuzzy texture to it, which is really weird. It'll work for what I'm using it for, but it's kind of weird. I'm going to go all the way to the end here. And I'm going to slip this stitch. I'm going to knit all the way across so you can see what I see when I do it. I need a little more yarn here. The nice thing is I don't have to do anything. I don't have to find that wrap because it's already buried. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's really hard to tell where the wrap and turn is. You see that? It's pretty cool.